COVID, we had a big meeting and we asked, what do you need? What are the needs right now for you and those around you in the community? And they actually said rental assistance. Our executive director, Brendan Green, was like, okay, so I need to find a way to get rental assistance more accessible to the community. And we realized that there are so many barriers to many of our community members in accessing resources. A native English speaker who is elderly and isn't comfortable with submitting an online application. And then sometimes it's just that it's in English and some folks can speak English but not necessarily read or write in English. There's just a lot of different areas of growth. And so we actually identified many of those and presented them back to the city of Denver and the state and encouraged them to change some of the stuff on their applications for rental assistance. We work on kind of developing these relationships with different landlords. Hey, there's this pandemic going on. So many folks are unable to go to work because it's shut down and they're struggling to pay rent. What can we do? How can we better serve them? RMC, being RMC, of course, was like, yes, we want to help our community members. Let's do it. We were able to keep garden court families stably housed for the entirety of the pandemic. That didn't end a couple of years ago. That's continued on. Their platform is very much around social justice. How do you ensure that that there's equitable outcomes here? How do you create wealth and how do you create uh, opportunities for families and individuals who've been marginalized over time? And we focus on housing, but that is not all of who we are. Our Advocate of the Year Award EC3 has been an outstanding partner for us.